How's it going, fellas? I'm Orush, and this is another episode of Borderlands. And in today's episode, we're going to turn in all the quests I have. Because I was too lazy to do it last episode. For some reason. And, uh. I was talking about this board game I tried to make one time last episode, and I thought I'd tell you more about it. What you want? So I was talking about how I glued together four, like, A4 pieces of paper. And I drew the land and shit. And the premise of the board game was to become the hero of the land or whatever. So what you would have to do is you would have to, like, be each player begins at the same spot. And after they begin, you know, they roll the dice, they walk around the world, and what they have to do is go to the kingdom. And they have to become... And they have to get a job from the king, and then they have to let's go to New Haven, and they have to turn the finish the quest. <laughs> so, for example, there were quests like go to the arena and become the champion of it, and I had little pages glued to the back of uh, the normal page. So, if you went to the arena, you had to like unfold the arena uh, area from beneath the board and then there was like the arena mini map where you went that was like a defeat a demon lord and like each one of the four pages I tried to make the location a little different so the top left one was like a normal forest with like tents and stuff bandits the one on the right was more yes. like the kingdom, so there were like soldiers and shit in there. Very interested in isolating herself. She makes it difficult for me to trust her. She's a bitch, basically. See you, soon. See you fucking never again, because you die in between these games that you don't even get a fucking. You don't even get a cutscene when you die. You just die on fucking dialogue screen. All right, this is bullshit. This is. What the fuck is the middle of nowhere, by the way? The bottom right one was like a beach where there were like tribal people and stuff. It was supposed to be like the Aztec kind of looking place. And there was another location in that where there was like the Aztec pyramid that you had to go inside and retrieve a treasure and stuff like that. <laughs> and each fucking spot on the map had like these icons, like there was these question marks which were. But this is the middle of nowhere. What the fuck? Where you had to like... Engage in a fight. There were like mini quests, side quests you could have done. So imagine I had to, I would have to write all the fucking main quests and everything you had to do in that game. That would have been a lot of shit to do, man. Alright, let's see what quest we got, because I got a lot. Roscoan East. <laughs> Circle of Slaughter is still tough for some reason. All the other quests are not tough. So let me... A box drop. Here we go. That, that sounds pretty good. I bet it's not a quest where I just to kill 20 bugs or something and that's it. I bet this quest is fucking involving. Really expanded on. Interesting and not at all fucking boring as fuck. How do I get up there? All right, boys, take them out. What do I make it across? I don't, I don't think I do. I think I'm stuck actually. Kill them all. You're all by yourself, you dumbass. There we go. Okay. How do I make it across? How do I press a button? Do I shoot it? Oh wait, maybe the main quest will tell me where to go. Oh uh, yeah, I remember. You have to talk to a different claptrap. No, oh, well, fuck. Shit, I fucked up. Because you can't access this area from this part of the map, you gotta go to a different part of the map. You 
can't I can't move. My car is stuck. Well, that's too bad. Once again, I'm recording this episode and two previous ones right after another. So if I sound worse and worse with each fucking episode, just because I just fucking feel sick. You know what? Maybe I'll get a fucking KFC after I'm fucking done with these fucking videos. I feel like. I super feel like fucking eating a chicken. I don't know. I'd eat at McDonald's, but they don't fucking deliver around where I live. So I have to, have to drive across the fucking town just to get a fucking McDonald's, and I don't feel like doing that either. I don't really like wasting money on like fucking ordering food to my place. It's like, I don't know, I would like rather m fucking buy the groceries and make myself a huge dinner that will last for a couple of days instead of getting a KFC that eat it a day and it would actually be fucking more expensive. But like sometimes, man, I just like feel like I fucking want the KFC bucket of chicken. I always wanted to get a trucker's bucket, which is supposedly this like really fucking... It's like really expensive, but it's like huge. Because it's for truckers, right? It's meant to like last them the whole trip and truckers drive from like across the fucking country to a whole different country there's a quest here for some fucking reason why is there a quest in the middle of this dump doesn't even look fucking interesting or anything oh game doesn't look interesting oh what's up bro just I hanging out Tough. Well, I ain't doing that. Unless they want me to do wait, cause I fucking gotta open a bridge. There are those weird lights over there, what the fuck's that about? So how many vault pieces do we have? We have uh two. And Tannis has one, right? So we only need one more. As if you probably remember from Borderlands 2 and all other Borderlands games, uh, the vault keys made out of four pieces and not three. Not at all. Man, do I feel fucking awful. Oh, it's that mountain over there. Funny thing, I was like playing uh, YS8 recently, and it's a really fun game. The problem is, it looks pretty shitty. It looks shittier than this game. But the thing is, it, it came out for PS Vita, and there's also a PS4 version, but it's like mainly a PS Vita game. And when I just started playing it, it turns out that there is a YS9 in the books, the trailer for it came out. Man, who the fuck would on earth would even want to hang out with that? She thinks music is stupid and waste. Imagine a world with like no art. All you got in the world is just fucking shit that's useful, but there's nothing enjoyable about it. You know, imagine if like every single utensil you have is just like a grey square. If cars don't have any like looks to them, they just fucking like just like a like, bunch of boxes driving around. If everyone's house didn't have like colors and shit designs to them, looked fancy. We all just lived in like a big gray box. It would be like, oh, it's efficient and really fucking good or something, but it just looks fucking awful, man. Alright, I, I gain access to this part of the plan, of the fucking planet, this location, whatever. And Old Haven is uh, really annoying. Who would have expected that I would like, describe a location in this game as really fucking annoying? It's not like I described every location in this game as a fucking annoying. No, I liked Chrome Canyon, that location was cool. It actually looked fucking cool and was pretty awesome to go to. But then, like Old Haven, it's so annoying. Because you mainly the reason it's annoying is you gotta fight. What do I do with this shit? Hell up, K. 
killed. Yes, I gotta get a sample and kill a kill a bug. I'm really scared of bugs. I don't blow up my car. One hell of a boss fight. <gasps> ah, fuck off. Why do they don't give me anything with good damage? I know this might be a really good revolver. At least he said something cool before dying. That's that's important. I remember a story about this like a uh, Mexican general or something. And he was known for like having a bunch of inspirational quotes and like speeches. And in his like final battle that he took part in, apparently while he was dying. His last words were like, tell them I say something is inspirational. And then he died. And the guy apparently said that that's what he said instead of like saying that he said something inspirational. What a fucking asshole. Like wouldn't you let the guy fucking die? The inspiration to others that he was supposed to be. Instead you had to fucking be true to yourself and be like, I won't fucking lie to the public. Man, fuck off. Makes him sleep better. Fucking light to them, why not? What a controversial opinion. And I don't know much about this fucking guy. Maybe he was a ruthless fucking asshole or something. And it, it ain't like I give a fuck. Oh, red chest. Why are you called Talon? Widowmaker I get because it's a spider, but this guy, what was so fucking hell about him? What, what level is my shield, by the way? 20... Wait, what the fuck is my shield? 22. Sniper rifle level 19. For 10 levels I have not changed my sniper rifle. Actually, I doubt I got that. I, get, I doubt I got that sniper rifle while I was level. 19, I probably got it when I was like level 20 something. Right. I actually happen to have the same thing. Bloodsport, Endless Rage. This is the exact same as I have. And somehow lower level? I don't know what that changes, nothing really, but... I don't wanna have a lower level fucking item. Let's do this one. Cause it's like, I gotta turn on some bullshit. Maybe it's one of those quests that's like high level. But in reality it's like really fucking easy. I remember when I first played Borderlands and I would like do quests out of order. And I would like end up making... Making it harder on myself, but when I was like going through Borderlands 2 on my Let's Play for example. I did like everything as I went along. So I never encountered a situation where I could have tried to do something too hard for me. Because I already would have taken care of all the previous ones. So anything new coming up, I was already pretty much prepared for it. So I don't know, it's the third episode, I gotta keep track of that. You know what sucks? I like wake up in like an afternoon. It's so fucking awful to stay up. I don't know, this fucking quarantine bullshit. I remember this place. It's annoying. Would you believe it? This place is annoying. Who would have thought? Them. 
And you know what? The Crescent Witch of Free. I'm like, talking about Cyberpunk again. By the way, Crescent Witch of Free, like people remember fondly, but like, fight was the best part of the game. And you know what? Fight with and Cyberpunk are pretty cool, but I don't think they're as good as Cy uh, Witch of Free. Like, they're pretty alright. At least they're not something like go kill and go back. Actually, I think the fact that they are exactly that. Especially the quest where you can kill Cyber Psycho. Sounds like a hack, a lot of poor lines of Cyber Psycho. And those quests are actually basically just go kill the Cyber Psycho and go back. And I wanna find some recording of their conversations. Shotgun. I said I killed like a full of enemies and there's just like more of them showing up. By the way, tell me what does weapon efficiency do does in this game? Does it increase your damage or is it just like increases your recoil? Fuck, it's a bandit. Can he come fuck down? What a fucking piece of shit, man. Stupid asshole sucking. Piss me the fuck off. Yeah, I wake up in like afternoon and by the time I'm done with these let's plays, it's just like so dark outside. Oh my god, right there. Why won't I go back immediately? Ah, whatever. Let's see what he got for me. Hi there. Look guys, it's the shotgun. It seems pretty cool, but it's not as good as this one. And I wouldn't want to change this awesome shotgun I have into one that sucks. By accident or anything. Smoke signals that takes place in like a different location. There's something about beams. North Ridge, Beacon. So beacons, not beams. What the fuck's the difference? I don't know, fucking for sure. I was gonna get new new headphones this week, but uh, it kind of sucks. The the offer I found them for a, for a cheaper price than usual uh, expired. So now I either get them for the normal price, or I got more looking around to do for them. Uh, which way is it? Seems like it's just a normal path. Fucking, I wasn't even close to it. I remember one time when I was uh, driving back from school to my home, and I was I was in this like really narrow street. Cause so I figured like, oh, they usually don't drive here, so I'm just gonna fucking go through this place. And there was a dump truck approaching me. And the dump truck was way wider than the street and I couldn't fucking pass it, so I like tried to drive into like someone's Boys, like someone's driveway. So they wouldn't fucking hit me. And I tried to like fucking position like get as close to the fucking fence as I could and I ended up actually bumping in in the back. And I was so fucking pissed off for the rest of the day. And I remember when I was just like New thought of what I fucking did that day just pissed me off so much. Now when I think about it, it's kind of like a funny little thing that happened to me a while back. Back then I was so fucking mad, and I didn't even damage the car that much. Just like hit a like a little bit of the fucking color fell out of it. Why is it sometimes I do like no damage to enemies, and then other times I blow them up in one shot? Maybe the shotgun has like really low damage, but it has like an increased crit chance. No, I mean increased crit damage? Why is that get fucking highlighted on the map? 
Oh, fucking assholes. I'm sniping here, don't you fucking see? Man, did I mention this game sucks? You know, I hate this game. I think I mentioned this multiple times by now. But I'm not particularly fond of this fucking game. And all this shit happening to me, like not being able to snipe because these asses are shooting, doesn't really help. Alright, what is this bullshit I'm doing? I doubt it's anything interesting. Oh, fucking pull the button. Push the button. Go fuck yourself. What? Oh, look at that. I did something. Alright, I activated a satellite. I'm not sure what that does exactly, but... It sure seems cool. I'm really not made for sniper rifles, am I? Why didn't that thing blow up? Yeah! I think that was my first accurate headshot with a sniper rifle in this game. Feel it. I don't see the last guy. <laughs> Gonna drive by. Oh shit, it's one of those. I'm out of here in that case. Right, this last thing is up there. So I got a feeling I gotta drive across the bridge. To get to the fucking area. Tomorrow I'll have to make three episodes of Half-Life. Two... I don't think that'll be a problem. But I just kinda fucking wanted to like play Cyberpunk and nothing else for the fucking time being. And nope, I fucked up and I didn't record enough videos... ...for me to record Cyberpunk, so now I can't fucking do it. Don't worry, I'll figure it out so you fucking won't even see any difference. You know, for you it'll be like I just uploaded Cyberpunk every day. And all the videos of Borderlands and Half-Life 2 as well. I'll figure it out somehow. Hardest thing ever. No, it's fucking not. Like, one third of it is just sitting and playing video games. What I'm really excited about, though, is um, the fact that I finally got my hands on the game now. And I wanna see, like, what games am I able to just play off the bat. What games I'll be able to record and make less plays out of. I feel like, oh, maybe Rayman 2 and 3 are there. I'd totally be up to fucking replay those. They're fucking awesome. And yeah, I'd say both of them are awesome because some people don't like Rayman 3. But I think Rayman 3 is slightly worse. But in its own different ways, it's just as good as Rayman 2. Oh, that's it. Fun little animation. Circle of Slaughter is... Alright, whatever. Maybe we're gonna finish Circle of Slaughter next episode, and so far, uh, right now I'm gonna go do this thing. We're gonna go do this thing. Then 
finish it, the episode, I mean, and that'll be it. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little bit not well to make fucking let's plays right now. But I'm also not like bad enough to like literally be unable to make let's plays. What well, graveyard? Interesting. Are we gonna have a showdown? No, just a bunch of bandits came out of nowhere. Gain some kind of immunity when I'm in this fucking mode. It's like for you to activate the badass Berserk mode and then just fucking die. That's like super lame. See how long this thing lasts now? I upgraded it. I would like the skill where like killing each enemy increases my fucking amount of time. That'd be the coolest thing to get. There's one. One's too many for you. What do I have to say when I fucking million of you? Alright, I guess these guys have pieces of papers with them. Not sure what the significance of this fucking paper is. But then again, I'm the guy who complains about quests in this game and refuses to fucking read their descriptions. So I don't fucking wanna read this shit. It's probably fucking lame anyway. No fucking loitering, why would I leave paper on the ground? This planet already looks like trash. Oh, that was it. Collect six pieces of paper. Wow, what a quest. That's what I want. I bet if I did read the description I would find out that this is actually legendary paper. Or something like that. And I'd be fucking And I take back what I said about this game sucking dick. But I need a sniper rifle. Seems pretty cool. Uh, no loitering. And collect more guns. Guns can stay on the floor. I don't care. Guns aren't trash. Unless they really are fucking trash. Like my revolver, for example. That's fucking trash. You know what? See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.